Rated M for mature. Little sister, forgive me for not writing sooner. Paper and ink are hard to come by during my confinement. My misguided captors want me to write a confession, betraying my fellow Shishi in exchange for a lighter sentence. I choose to use this paper to write to you instead. The choices we make are curious things. Some are made from the head with an objective and destination in mind. Others are formed in the heart when the path ahead is unclear. I count myself a lucky man. As for me, both are aligned. I do not write to ponder my own fate, however, but to send a message of hope. The plan we have been working towards is still in motion. Relay this message to our allies and Ronin alike, for it is the latter we must win over to our cause. There are choices to be made soon, and it is their actions that will determine how this will unfold. Keep the flame of our rebellion burning bright, dear sister. Freedom and sovereignty for our beloved Japan is close. There are typical characteristics to a Ronin that I want players to experience through the game. A Ronin is a samurai who doesn't have a master. They explore various places, meeting diverse people. They don't spend much time in the same place, but they always achieve something important, often saving people in some way. They don't really have any strong convictions. Instead, they follow the choices that the player makes. I believe that fits perfectly with the freedom we wanted to give to players during their experience, and to create an open world. Open world has become extremely popular and commonplace in the action game genre. One of its charms is the feeling of exploration, as well as deciding the order to pursue tasks and being able to make your own choices. The Ronin has a blade twin who grew up with him. The bond between the two is the backbone of the game. You can't stop the war, no one can. This nation will descend into chaos. The Blades Twin is something that is almost the other side of the story. It's not about good and bad. It's more about something that is very different and contradicting the story of the hero. So writing the theme for this character actually was the most challenging for me. For the characters, we looked at the way they lived and their outlook on life and conveyed that in their appearance. For characters close to the Shogunate, we would keep an Edo style that resonates with the Shogunate. Alternatively, for the anti-Shogunate characters, we wouldn't hesitate to include Western influences to their styling, such as equipping them with rifles or have them already wearing leather shoes. For Western political forces, we insisted on designs that put forward that Occidental aspect. We wanted these characters to look real. Japan, the great white whale that's eluded all others. 
There are many characters during the Bakumatsu era, such as Perry, for example. Perry, yeah. <laughs> there are also characters from other nationalities. Usually, you would think it would create issues to have them fight, but you manage to make it blend smoothly within the story and the events. Fighting is such a bore. Our narrative thread ended up being the bond system. As we developed the bond system, the first aspect that started taking form was the strength of bond with other characters. I know. Tag along with me, will you? Ryoma evolves together with the main character from the beginning. He goes on to play a major role within the game. As we were creating him, we wanted to design the coolest image of Ryoma. Join us later, if the mood strikes you. The choices the player makes are key elements in changing the strength of bond forged with other characters, which goes on to affect the story. I'm going to need you on our side. If you choose to go pro Shogun, Katsura may become sort of an enemy. It's not fully the case though. You always oscillate between friend and foe. <laughs> Katsura is a good character to have as an ally, but also as an enemy, as he gives you that satisfaction of beating a boss. Yeah, that's true. You can end up with the opposite feeling towards him. That's good. If you go pro Shogunate, the anti Shogunate Katsura will definitely look to block you. Then along the way, you encounter Takamuriyama. The pro Shogunate suddenly becomes attractive. <laughs> <laughs> there are some beautiful characters on your journey. Yeah, there are. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. There's a real diversity of people in the game. It got me thinking that I would have liked living in that period. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered which side you would take? That's interesting. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm more of the rustic type, so mm. I would have probably gone full on katana. A bit like Kondo Isama. I definitely think that after completing the game, players won't make the same choices for their second run. I also think that it makes it fun to talk to friends about it. <laughs> We felt obliged to make a game that we could enjoy ourselves. I believe that everybody put all their effort into making Rise of the Ronin a unique game with unique value. I truly believe that the team working so well together led to the high quality game we have achieved with Rise of the Ronin.